Hello everyone and welcome to another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts video and today we are building another paper ship. This ship was laid down but uh, the six that were originally planned, two of them were converted to aircraft carriers, the rest of them were scrapped. So uh, in case you hadn't noticed by the title, it's the Lexington class battlecruiser that uh, the United States originally wanted six of. So, uh, yeah, I had multiple ships in a random list. Like previous video, I rolled it five times out of all five ships. A German ship, one German ship, three Japanese ships, and an American ship. The American ship won that random roll again. So, today, we're going to be building the American Lexington-class battlecruiser. So, without further ado... We are going to put the Americans, and then we're going to have the Japanese. And it's going to be 18, 18, 19, 23, like last time, 9,000 meters, no battleships, three battle cruisers, three heavy cruisers, and, uh, nah, two heavy cruisers, four destroyers. The enemy. The Japanese are going to have two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, and two light cruisers. You may think that this is a little unfair, but trust me, the fellow AI is going to give us some, uh, what is it, some troubles because they can't really listen to orders. So, in they're here for backup. It's really the three battle cruisers that are going to be doing all the work. So, let's design a ship. And while I'm designing the ship to save time, I'm going to do a voiceover and speed up the building uh, footage. Alright, so the Lexington class battlecruisers uh, were one of America's only few battlecruisers uh, that were requested. They ordered these ships around 1911 because uh, the Japanese had their new battlecruisers, which were at the time pretty high tech. Uh, they were Congo class. So, the U.S. needed a ship that can sort of keep up with the Congos and outgun it. And so they came up with this design. The original design was like wanting 35 plus knots with 16 inch guns and a few other things. But that changed after a few design revisions. And now we have the... Well, the design that I'm trying to make. So, the ship uh, characteristics were... It weighed 45,000 tons. I'm unable to do that in-game. I can only go to about 33,000 tons. Uh, the ship's dimensions were... Uh, it was a little bit smaller than an Iowa ship, a uh, battleship. About 874 feet in length, 105 feet wide, with a 31-foot draft. The ship... Uh, now, uh, in the game, we can go to 33 knots. It would hit 33 knots if it was designed. And the armament, which I try my best to recreate, four twin 16-inch uh, 50 caliber length guns, same ones that would be used on most American battleships. Uh, the secondaries were 14 single-barreled 6-inch guns. I can't put 14 single-barreled 16-inch guns because it weigh a little bit, but I do put some 6-inch guns in a uh, dual gun turret, so I try. Uh, Anti-aircraft, I'm pretty sure it would have ranged from a bunch of Orlikans later, but the original design was like four to eight three-inch anti-aircraft guns, and then there would also be eight 21-inch torpedo tubes. I put four on each side, so, you know. Every, we do, we try to do everything, but we can only do so much with what we're given and the weight limit of the uh, of the ship that or in game that I can deal with so armor, the belt was 7 inches at its thickest, at the thinnest part it was 5, turret the front of the turret was 11 inches or turrets uh, they were 11 inches on paper and we're able to get them in game at 11 inches but at the sacrifice of the top of the turrets thickness 
if I could though, I would try to make the turrets uh, top thickness about the same thickness on the sides uh, on paper, which was 6 inches. Conning tower, a foot thick, so 12 inches. And then the deck, ranged from 2.2 inches to 1.5. So in total, it, you know, it on paper, it's pretty much a paper glass cannon. You know, nothing built to take a hit. But overall, I think that it would have made, you know, a good escort ship for carriers later in the Second World War if this thing was ever built. And with it having sort of the dimensions of a battleship, I'm pretty sure they could fit as many anti-aircraft guns on this thing, too. So, uh, the ship was originally to be built alongside also the later uh, South Dakota class, not the fast battleships that we all know more, the original sort of supersized standard battleships that would later come out, but uh, those never got built, and the... Uh, Lexington's six were laid down. Two, uh, their hull, two out of all six, two of their hulls were n pretty much nearly completed. The rest of them were, and eh, but uh, you know, after the First World War, the world had changed. Capital ships were still there, but now there were these new things called aircraft carriers, and the Navy no longer saw these uses for these super fast. Uh, what was it? Uh, battle cruisers anymore? So they sort of got rid of. Four, they canceled four, converted the two that were nearly done into uh, aircraft carriers. Those two aircraft carriers would later be the famous USS Lexington and USS Saratoga. They were built off of the Lexington class battle cruiser hulls. So. With that being said, we all know how the Lexington and the Saratoga turned out. The Lexington and Saratoga were very distinguished during the Second World War. They did, were part of many raids and many landing uh, operations on the island hopping campaigns. And Lexington would later sink during the Battle of the Coral Sea. And Saratoga, surprisingly, uh, despite her suffering so much damage during the Second World War, lived. And she would later be used as a target ship. Not for uh, main battleship guns or missiles or any of the new future weapons, but instead for um, nuclear weapons during Operation Crossroads in Bikini Atoll. So, you know, the Lexington class battlecruisers pretty much would later be surpassed by the later future American battlecruisers. Those would be like the Alaska. And, uh, yeah, so the Lexington, although technically she was never built like this, they were sort of built, the holes were, but they were just converted into a flat top and put a uh, tower on top. So, yeah, but since this is a game and I just got done building it, we can now see how she would do in battle. So let us see, shall we? All right, so this is the our fleet and the Japanese. So, uh... They have fewer numbers, but I mean, our ships are paper thin. Not saying the Japanese aren't, but I'm pretty sure that their gunnery is a lot better than ours. So, let's try to see if the Lexington could actually work with the uh, setup that I was... Uh, the uh, With the, uh, you know, rules that I had to follow and my limitations. So, uh... Oh, right there. Montana... Delaware. I don't know if Delaware would have been used as a battle cruiser name. Well, that's where they're going. So we to sort of go that way. Yeah, we're paper thin, that's for sure, but we can hit just as hard. That's one of their battle cruisers right there. We just launched our torps. Yep. Don't keep turning. You don't need to hit the destroyer and kill everyone on board. Mm. Oh, that's just nice. 
they kindly Bismarcked us by hitting our rudder. Though it doesn't look damaged on here. If we sink the battle cruisers and some other ships, I think that'd be one. Ah. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. The banjo? Is that its literal name? Is that is that really Japanese? Okay. So they have 16 inch guns also, but they have a lot. We don't have that many. What's our armor thickness? 8 inches. Tennessee? Oh, cruiser. Got hit by torpedoes. Well, they're having a collision over there. We need to hit the, uh... <laughs> the banjo because I mean she's flooded a lot so they made a sacrifice on something they're not that fast they're not as fast as us we're also starting to take shots. Launched our torps. Don't know if we'll keep this interception course. Probably need to turn away just a little bit. Or... Ooh. The 16 inch guns are busy reloading. Ours is done. So, uh. Ah. Oh, we sunk one of the. the that battle cruiser. Oh, I guess it. Well, we lost the DD. I'd say that we go and intercept the second battle cruiser. Montana can only go 14.5 knots because she half of her is flooded. So, huh. Yeah, they're really tearing the, the destroyers and the cruisers up, surprisingly, with uh, torpedoes. Mm. They hit our main tower really well, so now we can't really spot. And we lost another destroyer. They're, uh, they're cheap and easy to build. We can lose a few. As long as we don't lose the, any capital ships, I think that we're good. Okay, those look good. Yeah. Oh, wow, she's nearly fully flooded. There she goes. All right, so we got most, <laughs> pretty much all their surface vessels. Uh, I guess I'll skip forward trying to find the, because I don't want to bore anyone else by trying to sit here and intercept all the other cruisers and stuff, so. We'll wait a little bit. So yeah, after not that long, we were able to intercept them. But the problem is, uh, Montana is slow because, you know, half of her is flooded. It's not like those cruisers can really do anything. They're nearly all out of torpedoes. But, um, I mean, all that she's going to sit there and do is just tank the little, the little rounds. We need her to actually be able to get near those ships. That's why we're taking the helm of the Delaware. Is this the Delaware? Well, this Japanese cruiser is surrounded by a bunch of our ships. That's the one that we're going to go near. And then there's two off in the dis There's one over here, and then there's two hidden over here. 
Oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Montana. I'm gonna help you to turn just a little bit, please. Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, Delaware, get close. Montana should be safe from those torpedoes. She should be out now. Oh yeah, she's all out of torpedoes. Delaware, intercept fast. Hey, look, don't turn into the torpedoes. How about you just, just go straight. Uh, 16 inch guns are firing away, but they can't hit anything. Yeah, only... Okay, one shot out of almost 100 rounds. We're getting there. There we go. Oh, that really hurt her. put holes in her, that's for sure. And the crew are really trying to save her. Fired our torps. I doubt that we really need it if we're going to get this close with the big guns. She's out of the smoke, should be able to see her a little bit more easier. Easily. How fast are these cruisers? 34 knots? 39! Nearly 40! look like they would have hit. Eh, there we go. She should be slowing down. Alright, so we sunk her due to heavy flooding. South, west. They're behind us all the way over there. Alright. Delaware, intercept.
All right. Well, I've been chasing the enemy for the past couple hours. Oh crap, my graphics are going weird. I don't think my drivers are out of date. Either it's the graphics or it's the in-game time and shadows. Anyway, it's been six hours, or we got six hours left. I've been chasing the enemy for like the past ten and a half minutes at 30 times speed almost. It's been saying that they're southwest. I've been going southwest, and it said they were west. I've been, I went west for a little bit. Now it's saying they're southwest. So, um, the Japanese retreated. We sunk three of their ships. We have six of our ships. Like, uh, one entirely wounded, two also very wounded. Three uh, in perfect running condition. So, we are quite far away from our home fleet. Give it a bit. There we go. Yeah, Montana really needs to go back. And she is incredibly far <laughs> from the other one. And these two are also incredibly far. Oh, there was the ba other one back there. Yeah, the, free the fleet's in uh, very spread out. So uh, I now give the order to head back to base. So, uh, yeah, leave battle. So, we sort of won. We sunk three of them, two of their battle cruisers, one of their light cruisers. No, heavy cruisers. Their two light cruisers and a heavy cruiser escaped. We lost four destroyers. So, we sort of made up for tonnage loss. Meh. So, yeah, that's the Lexington. As usual... Uh, with these videos if y'all liked it go ahead like and uh, if you didn't like it go ahead dislike or and comment and you know anything worth it uh, say whatever you want but yeah so uh, sorry this video was really uneventful but I mean heck when you build a fast ship the AI sort of tends to build a ship just as fast as yours if not faster so um, yeah, we weren't really able to catch them, which is sad, but we did build the Lexington. I think it's an okay ship. I honestly think if we did build actually all six and we modernized them in like 1941, 42, 43, 44, they would be pretty good anti-aircraft gun platforms, especially with carriers. Uh, I think that it would have, uh, saved our battleships. The battleships go out, they can choose to hunt cruisers, or they go by the landing force, uh, detach away from the aircraft carriers, while the uh, battle cruisers, which are almost the same size as the battleships, can uh, be put with just as many anti-aircraft guns, and they move just a little bit more faster, but they're fast enough and more maneuverable enough to keep up with the carriers and dodge bombs and stuff. So. I think the Lexington class would be good. Let me know what y'all think. And as usual, like, dislike, comment. And if y'all like this video, go ahead and check the other videos that I made in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. If you just like the those, check out my channel and look out it uh, those videos. And then, uh, you know, choose to subscribe or not. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.